Hello guys, today I'll introduce a new topic that is enhancements. As I told you, the remaining advanced options in smartphones will be discussed when we have hands-on sessions, practical sessions. Okay, since you have already created table in the smartphones, the rest of the topics will discuss when we are working on the practice sessions. So today I'll introduce a new concept in SAP ABAP that is uh, enhancements. What is enhancement in general? In general terminology, what is the enhancement? What is the enhancement and what is a modification? Do you guys know the difference difference between modifying something or and enhancing something let's say you bought one new mobile phone online so what are the enhancements for the mobile phone your screen protector right that back case to protect the phone are these enhancements or modifi modifications enhancements enhancements, enhancements. are you are you changing anything in the phone are you changing any features of the no, phone sir. no sir not changing anything but in addition to the features you are adding some extra things, right? You are not changing the phone color. You are not changing the phone screen. You are not changing the phone RAM, right? You are not changing anything, but keeping as, as it is, you are adding few additional features. What do we call that? Enhancement or modification? Enhancements. Enhancement. Enhancement. So what is Enhancement. Enhancement? without disturbing the existing functionalities uh, you are going to add new functionalities that is called enhancement so what is modification modification means changing the existing functionalities to achieve new functionalities you are going to disturb or you are going to replace the existing standard functionalities with the new functionalities that is modification for example, you might observe like a few guys used to modify their bike silencers for a different sound, right? They're going to replace standard silencer with the modified one. That is modification, not enhancement, right? So in SAP, when we talk about the enhancement, what you are going to do? You are going to enhance the standard SAP applications with the new features, additional features. Okay? Clear? Can we directly change the standard programs or function modules? Can we directly open it in SA38 and change that standard program? No. No, sir. It won't allow you to change. Even it, it will allow, even it, it allows it is not recommended to change the standard functionality, whatever the functionality provided by SAP. So to add new features, what is the option we have? Enhancements. We can use enhancements technique to enhance the standard SAP applications. Can you tell me a few standard SAP applications? Purchase order, create purchase order, create sales order, order create. create billing, right? ME21N, VA01, VA01, VA01 is for sales order create, ME21 is for purchase order create. So you know those screens, right? So if you want to add any additional functionality to those standard applications, uh, we can use uh, enhancements. Enhance. Can you tell me a few standard tables available in SAP? SAP? EKKO, EKPO. Only two? Only two. MAKT. 
mara right vba okay sales order tables sales order tables vba okay vba vba billing tables vba billing tables ಡೆಲಿವರಿಂಗ್ we can add can we add additional fields to any custom table so at any time you can add go to sc11 change the table and add your new fields but can we change the standard table in sc11 go to sc11 and check how to enhance a standard table first let's check how to enhance a standard table so enhancing means adding new fields go to sc11 check one table for example ekko this is the standard table right can we change it changes to the rep- repository objects are not permitted means it is a standard table you cannot change it directly i have all these standard fields right i want some additional fields to store some additional data along with this existing fields i want some uh, standard fields how to add standard fields to the sorry how to add our own custom fields to the standard table we use tmg sir by using structure tmg is used to maintain the data to create the data not to add new fields to the standard table so there are 227 fields in this table i want to add few more additional fields in this table if it is a custom table let me find any custom table there is some custom table if it is a cust what is it error in object set no such table looks like changes are blocked in this client let me try another system looks like it is not allowing any changes sir use 2021 sir let's take this table if we need to do any cha- changes in the sense if you need to add any new fields change the table and add your new fields here and activate the table right that's it in case of if uh, if you are adding additional fields to the custom table but what uh, what if we are using additional fields to the standard table let's say we need to add few additional fields to the standard table so what it is saying make repairs in foreign namespaces only if they are urgent so repairs you mean so it is saying that you are going to change you are going to repair something you are going to change the standard functionality so you can do it if it is really urgent so we don't need to do any repairs to the standard functionality because if you do any changes in the standard applications right 
if you do any changes in the standard applications right sap is not going to support sap is not going to provide warranty on those changes you need to handle all those things on your own okay so how to enhance standard table without disturbing the existing fields we can use which, which what is that option append structure append structure. Append, append structure option we can use create append structure provide some name z demo underscore some custom create append structure here what you need to enter here what you need to enter component nothing but uh, fields but, uh, for example fields. matner i want to add material number do you have material number in ekko no right in ekpo we have no right and fields whatever you want to add to the table and uh, activate the append structure and activate the append structure now these fields will be added to now let me check uh, save it in the local object for now activate it activate the append structure what are we doing now enhancing a standard table with the custom fields custom field custom field doesn't mean that uh, some z field or something you can use any field which is not available in the current table for example matner it is not a custom field actually it is already available in some other table but that is not available in ekko we are adding it as a custom field right or you can also add your own field names whatever the field name you want you can create your own data elements and domains for that field and enter in the append structure but please make sure always make sure it is very important whenever you are dealing with standard tables you need to be very careful because if you don't do it properly all the applications whatever all the applications calling the standard table right they are not going to work if you do some mistake okay if we don't activate the append structure properly then what will happen all the applications whatever they are using like uh, ekko table are not going to work okay that's why always make sure when you are working with the standard tables you are doing the right thing clear sir is it possible to take backup of this ekko table no there is no such kind of backup but you you can fix the issues you can delete the like whatever the incorrect append structure okay. have added our basis administrators can restore the table to the previous version okay we can fix it but it will take time right to fix it for example if you do some mistakes in the table and uh, transport it to production then what will happen whatever the applications uh, using this table are not going to work in production until you fix the issue and, and uh, transport the table again to production right okay so so in the enhancements table enhancement is one of the option we have to enhance the additional fields to the standard tables so what is the option we have table enhancement append structure we can use append structure option append to structure. add the additional fields to the standard tables is taking time to activate the append structure because why it, why it is taking time because this uh, ekko table is being used in uh, many applications it has to do all consistency check
it is still activating so once you activated the append structure whatever the fields added will be part of uh, that append structure sorry that standard table by the time it is activated i'll show you a proper method to enhance a standard table don't use don't directly add the fields in the append structure what you need to do go create a structure create a structure z e k k o underscore custom create a structure with required fields for example i'll, I'll add material whatever the fields required not only material whatever the fields required that might be a your own field also for example emp id or any any field whatever you want to add okay m a k t x depends on your requirement create your own field and data element data elements and domains you know how to create data elements domains and structure rights yes sir i've created a structure and activate the structure how to how to add one structure to another structure or how to add structure to a table how to add it dot include yes. using dot include you can add this structure in append structure so instead of adding individual fields what you need to do create a structure with required fields and add that structure in the append structure and activate the append structure okay that is a recommended approach to add the custom fields it is still trying to activate everyone got it right how to add custom fields to the standard table what is the option available append structures append structure is the Appen option we can uh, use so to add the custom fields we need to create a structure maintain all the uh, additional fields in the structure and add this uh, structure in the append structure okay clear still activating okay by the time it is activated we see other options let me open another table vbap what is vbap table sales item sales item sales sir. item sir sales order item table or i'll stop this it is taking time to activate or let me open another server by that time why all the servers are slow go to sc11 bb ap sorry what is ab app go to vb ap uh 
you can observe some structures here she observed this structure how did they add fields to the table they have used some includes to add the fields still they are standard structures only but they are they have added these fields by using includes what is the reason behind that so that they can reuse they can reuse same structure with these fields in somewhere instead of entering individual fields in the table okay that's the reason why we add additional fields or any uh, fields in the form of structures to the table clear is our table activated no it is still running so append structure and create append structure so what you need to do here you need to enter all the fields which are required to add to the standard table but what is the recommended approach what is the recommended approach what is the recommended approach create a separate structure and create add that structure here like dot include type that structure name like this whatever the fields part of the structure will be added to this uh, include append structure then activate the append structure okay is everyone clear yes sir yes sir but make sure whenever you are adding your fields like make sure that uh, you are doing the right thing otherwise all the applications are not going to work whatever using these tables okay if you want to find how can you find for example there is a table vbap like how can you know in which application this vbap table is being used how to find that go to the table place the cursor and use a where used list where is important where is a list and select like type so do you want to check in which programs it is using to uh, it is using or in, in which class methods it is using let's select only programs and classes continue yes these are the classes and methods where vbap is being used someone someone created some custom uh, class i think this is associated with uh, o data services i'll let you know like how to create o data services later double click on the method somewhere they are defining the structure using vbap check other methods so in in all these applications uh, they are using vbap table hundreds of programs right double click double click on any program so you can see that code reference where where it is being used in that standard program or even in custom programs so by using where is your list you can check that here here they are using line number 14 they are using vbap right now let's go back to our uh, enhancement topic so we have completed standard table enhancements what is the option we use to enhance the standard table Open structure. Open structure. So, create a structure with required fields and add that structure to the append structure and activate the append structure. Okay. Okay, it is completed. I think. Let's check. Is it activated or not? For which table we have added? E K K O, right? If the append structure is activated, uh, we should be able to see that uh, custom fields. Look. it is inactive table is inactive why because the append structure is not activated we have terminated the transaction right in between <clears throat> this is the append structure this is the append structure is it active let's check this append structure is active but what about the table 
table is inactive because we terminated it when it is trying to activate the table we have terminated the transaction code because it is taking too much time now try executing me22n what is me22n purchase order change right purchase order change right Think it is taking time here to execute any transaction code but it should be inactive status if it is inactive all the applications whatever being used by whatever being used this table are not going to work okay and we need to make sure always table is active now so we have discussed about uh, enhancing the standard table what about enhancing the code programs enhancing the programs function modules or class methods let's let's take one standard program how to find a standard program being used for uh, sales order create what is the transaction code for sales order create VA01, right? VA01. VA01 is the transaction code. Enter the transaction code in SC93. What is SC93? Custom transaction code. Yeah, in SC93, we can create custom transaction code. Right? Go to VA0, VA0, enter VA01 and display. You can see the program that is using for uh, this transaction code. So, this is the standard program that is using for VA01. Double click on it. You can see lot of include programs and within that include programs you can see lot of code. To add any additional functionality, to add any additional functionality to the sales order create. So we need to change or we need to add custom logic to the standard program, right? Sales order standard program, right? So what are the different options available to add custom logic to any standard transaction codes? That means source code enhancement. Are, we are not changing any screen. We are not changing any screen. We are just adding logic, additional code. Okay. What are the options available? We have customer exit and baddie and uh, implicit enhancements so how can you enhance the standard code by using customer exit baddies and uh, implicit enhancements so depends on the requirement depends on the requirement and depends on the application we are going to choose a relevant option customer exit or baddie or uh, implicit enhancement for source code enhancements yeah, now ME22N is act opened. Yes, earlier I have executed ME22N, right? Now that is just triggered. It is. It returned the runtime exception. Why? Because EKKO table is uh, inactive. Inactive. That's why it is not working. Okay. I'll go back to our enhancements. So what are the enhancement options available to enhance the standard code? We have customer exits, baddies and implicit enhancements. Baddie and implemented. So it depends on the requirement. We are going to use one of these uh, technique to add the custom logic to the standard code. What is screen enhancement? What is screen enhancement? Adding, for example, there is VA02 screen there is VA let's assume this is VA02 screen let's let's say we need to add one more field here we need to add one more field here to enter the data that is called a screen enhancement okay let's say we need to add one more button here 
just like search we need to add one more custom button here so that is also called screen enhancement we are adding new options on the screen okay that is called screen enhancement now now vkk is activated now me 22n should work now so what is screen enhancement adding new options on the screen for screen enhancement what are the options we have we have customer exits and baddies customer exits and baddies so what is the transaction codes for customer exits smod and smod smod what are the transaction codes for baddies sc19 sorry sc18 and sc19 we'll see in detail now now first check what is a customer exit how many of you know how many of you know how to uh, work with function modules how many of you know how to work with function modules? Know how to work with function modules like creating a function module like creating a function, a function module we know sir most of you know right how to call a function module or how to write code inside the function module so when yes, you are sir. working with customer exits uh, you are going to work with uh, function modules so inside the customer exit uh, what you can find a function module inside the function module you are going to write your uh, custom logic you are going to write your custom logic so this custom logic will be executed whenever you execute the standard transaction code so customer exits follows uh, which programming approach procedural oriented procedural programming approach because it is using function modules to enhance the standard applications and also implementations let's say there is one customer exit available how many times we can implement it we can implement only once customer exits can be implemented only once for example developer a created one as enhancement in one customer exit now developer 2 cannot create another enhancement for the same customer exit because it, it allows only one single enhancement so where you are going to write the code in, in the customer exits the additional code in function modules if you know how to work with function modules it is very easy only thing is you need to find a suitable customer exit for your requirement okay what is the other option available to enhance the standard code observe here first one is customer exit second one is user exits what is the user exit user exit is also a enhancement technique by using user exits you can add a custom code but what is the difference between customer exit and user exit customer exits uses function modules but user exits uses subroutines how many of you know subroutines how many of you know subroutines perform form and end form all of you know right how to create a subroutine or how to write the code inside the subroutine if you know subroutines, we are going to use subroutines in the user exits mostly user exits will be available in the sales module for sales order delivery billing these kind of applications user exits are available but there are certain differences between customer exit and user exit customer exits are available in a standard program where we need to use one access key to access these user exits but for customer exits you are not going to access any standard program you are going to write inside a custom function module provided for that customer exit okay so in which functional modules we use uh, uh, user exits sales sales functional module we use uh, user exits okay next one is baddie what is a baddie baddie means business add-in what is the abbreviation of baddie baddie means business add-in how many of you know how to work with class methods how to create a method how to implement a method how many of you know
how many of you know how to work with class methods every one of you know right how to implement a method so in baddies what do you yes, have to use class methods object oriented class method so baddie follows which programming model object oriented object oriented, object -oriented. customer exits follows procedural programming procedural customer exits uses function modules class method uses sorry baddies uses sir sorry baddies uses sir class, class methods. methods classes and methods class so baddies contains uh, interface methods where we implement uh, this interface method with the help of which one class class methods classes because we cannot directly implement the interfaces right we can yes, only sir. implement the interfaces with the help of classes so baddies yes. contains interface methods what is the interface method method with without the implementing your method without implementation. implementation so baddie contains empty methods right and we need to create our own implementation inside uh, those interface methods depends on the requirement okay clear clear so what are the what are the transaction codes for baddies sc18 sc19 sc19 is to create the implementation okay sc18 is to baddie definition SC19 is for implementation. Okay. So, what are the transaction codes for customer exits? CM mode. Hmm. Hmm. Backslash N uh, uh, SM OD. SM OD is to find the SMOD is to find the customer exit. How to find? Like you can use some uh, keywords or F4 help. So these are uh, like continue. You can find all the available customer exits. Display. So this is one sample customer exit. Display. Go to components. What you can find here? What are these? Function modules. Functional modules. Function modules. Double click on one function module. Check uh, importing and exporting parameters. What are the importing and uh, what are the exporting parameters available in the function module? So that you can identify is this function module is suitable for our uh, requirement or not, or we need to find another customer exit. Right. If this function module is not suitable for your requirement, check for another function module and uh, its corresponding importing and exporting parameters. Right. Once you are able to find your function module, where you need to write your code. Observe here inside a function module, what is available? A include program. A include, a include program. program. A custom include program. Double click on the include program. If you, when you are you double click, it will just say. Function module is reserved for uh, SAP. Just click on enter. This is just a information. Click on enter. Create. Save it in a proper package. Now you can you can write here. You can write your code here. Whatever the code you want. You know normal ABAP statements. Whatever you come across as of now. And activate the include program. Right. Find the customer exit and, uh, and uh, write the additional logic in uh, SMOD. Now, is it is it uh, like is that enough to execute that uh, standard logic? No. You need to create a project in uh, CMOD. What is the transaction code? CM. CM CMOD. CMOD is the transaction code to create the project so that your custom logic will be activated. If there is already a project, uh, add that, add your customer exit to that project. Otherwise, create your own project. Z demo project. Create the project. Now, what is the customer exit we have implemented? This one, right? Some AD 23001. Go to enhancement assignments. 
and add your customer exit here and click on enter go to components so this is the customer exit we have implemented right you can see here it is available with some tick mark right now activate the customer exit sorry project activate the project our project is active so there are some inactive include tables so if you once you activated the project your custom functionality will execute along with the standard transaction code okay for example if you want to disable that uh, custom uh, enhancement what you need to do deactivate the project if you deactivate it whatever the additional logic you have implemented is going to be deactivated okay clear yes, sir. this is how we are going to implement the customer exit but there are few steps we need to follow to find the customer exit proper so, uh, customer exit which is, which is suitable for our requirement we need to follow some specific steps we'll discuss that tomorrow i'll just give you some overview today now how about baddies what is the transaction code for baddie yes see 18 yes see 18. 18. 18 go to classical baddies in sc 18 just uh, let's click on some f4 uh, there is one baddie available click on display so this is the baddie this is the baddie definition. This is the baddie definition. So what you can find inside the baddies? Interfaces. interfaces. These are the, this is the interface and these are the methods of this, that interface. Okay. So this is the baddie definition. Can we add uh, same customer exits to multiple projects in CMOD? So we have added one uh, customer exit to one project, right? Can we add to, can we add the same customer exits to multiple projects? That is not possible. We can add one customer exit to only one specific project. You cannot add same customer exit to multiple projects so that multiple implementations are not possible. But for baddies, multiple implementations are possible. So you can create your own implementation for the same baddie definition. How to find existing implementations created by some others? Go to SC18, enter the baddie definition, go to implementations, overview. Here you can find someone is implemented. You can see your custom implementation. Yes, sir. Someone is already created one custom implementation for this uh, baddie definition. Where you can find the implementations? Where you can create the implementations? SC? SC19. 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 To create the implementation, enter the body definition and click on create. Click on create to create the new implementation. To change the existing implementation, provide the implementation name and display go to interfaces so they might have implemented these interface methods implementing nothing but double click and write your code when you implement your interface method what will happen it will automatically generate a class okay it will automatically generate a class to implement the interface methods clear For example, let's quickly create one implementation for the same baddie definition. Click on create. Here to provide the implementation name, you have to follow some uh, naming conventions. Sample baddie. Now, now let's see, it is automatically creating one class. It is automatically creating one class whenever you are implementing a baddie. Now, how to implement the methods? How to implement a method? Double click on this. Double click on this and write your code here. You, need, you know, right, how to write code inside the methods using importing and exporting parameters. Write your code and activate the 
all the bad irrelevant objects whatever you have created including class and everything select everything and activate our bad is activated now whatever the functionality you implemented in the method so implementation is inactive activate the implementation there are already implementation active why it is saying that because there is one special thing we need to check is it a is this baddy a multi-use baddy or a single use baddy we need to check that how can you find baddy can be baddies can be used for multiple implementation or not go to properties huh. is multi-use check here checkbox available here is this selected here multi-use checkbox no, no. Sir. no. So multi, as long as multi-use checkbox is not selected, we can create only one implementation. Multiple implementations are not possible. Okay. That's why it is not allowing you to create the one more implementation. There is already a active implementation. So how to find a bad use multi-use bad or not? Go to property definition properties. There is a multi-use checkbox available. If it is available for multiple implementations. Okay. Clear? Yes, sir. So, this is how you can implement or you can write uh, code inside the baddy implementations. Okay? So, in the next session, I will explain about uh, implicit enhancements. But before that, I will show you some examples on implementing the customer exits and baddies. And I will show you implicit enhancements. Okay? So every application will have its own specific uh, customer exits and uh, baddies. Okay. We'll see how to find uh, those customer exits or baddies specific to that application, which is suitable for our requirement. So all these customer exits and baddies are provided by SAP. Why they have provided? Why they have provided all these uh, customer exits and baddies? For future enhancements for future enhancements because every business will will have their own requirements right yes sir every business will have their own requirements so sap is providing a standard functionality but that is not going to suitable 100 percent that's not going to provide 100 percent functionality for for every business right so what sap provided <laughs> sap provided enhancement options in the form of uh, customer exits and baddies to enhance our own functionality right without disturbing standard functionality okay this customer exits and baddies are being called in between standard programs somewhere depends on the requirement so once we implemented this custom logic will also trigger along with the standard logic clear Yes, sir. So tomorrow we'll see how to find customer exits provided by SAP for a particular transaction code. How to find baddies provided by SAP for a particular transaction code. Okay. Any questions?